Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today I'm back with another GAN charger, and this one is from VoltMe. And this one happens to belong to their Revo series, and that is a pretty large series of different chargers for a lot of different devices. At any rate, they sent this one to me for review, so this was not personally purchased. Uh, however, my thoughts and opinions on it do remain objective and remain my own as I am not being financially compensated for the production of this review uh, outside of, of course, getting this as a sample. So this does feature Power Delivery 3.1 support and maxes out at 140 watts. Now that's pretty significant, significant to the point that if you are buying a cable to utilize that 140 watts, you want to make sure that it's actually rated for that because in the world of USB Type-C charging cables, the cable will also have a maximum power rating that it will support as well. So you'd want to make sure that you're getting an appropriate cable to give you the opportunity to take advantage of that power delivery 3.1 tech that's on the inside of this. So let's open up the box and see what we get inside and then I'll explain all of the different ports that this thing comes with and what this can be used for and maybe some things that uh, it won't quite meet the benchmark on. All right, so inside the box, we have a card thanking me for the purchase. I have a manual that looks like it's in both English and a few other languages. And then of course we have the charger itself just in this uh, little wrapper. Now this uh, charger already, I can tell you, feels quite weighty in the hands. It has a fold out plug that has a very uh, positive snap up and down system. So no worries about the build quality on that. Of course, with that depth, you wanna make sure that's going in the bottom North American outlet or at the bottom of a power bar to make sure you're not uh, taking up that additional space. Now, the pictograms on the charger are really important. On the top, we have a laptop pictogram. On the second one down, we just have a P. And then the third one is a kind of a lightning bolt uh, shaped. So here are the three different power levels that this thing is going to support. The top one is your 140 watts. So that is if you are just charging a laptop and you have nothing else plugged in, you're going to get 140 watts there. If you just need 100 watts, you use the second one down. And if you plug only that into there, you get that 100 watts. And then the bottom one here, I believe, will cover like 22 and a half uh, by itself. So that's pretty significant. Now, here's how they all work together. So like I said, if you're just using the top one, 140, middle one, 100, bottom, uh, 22.5. If you're using both of the USB Type-C ports, that will split the charging to 65 watts and 65 watts, which is more than enough to charge your average laptop. So you can use this to charge two laptops through the same plug. Now, if you use the either one of these ports plus the USB type A port, it's going to be 100 watts and 22 and a half. Now, if you are really needing power and you use all three, it's going to be 65, 45, and 22.5. So just be aware uh, that's your kind of your combinations that you're going to get and the power output that you're going to get uh, using all three uh, in any sort of configuration to charge up your devices. So that's overall how that works. There's some additional information in the guide, but overall, I think it's about time that we start uh, testing this and see just how well it does and I'll report back to you in just a moment All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is a bit of a mess to illustrate a point and it's probably the most important point So the VoltMe GAN charger that you see here this 140 watt is not cheap It's about twice the price of the VoltMe 100 watt. So this is a approximately retailing for about 140 US dollars. That's a lot of scratch, especially for a charger. Now, in my opinion, 
this thing does exactly what it sets out to do. There is no technical faults. The design is sound. The question whether or not it's useful entirely depends on your use case. So this is what I've got in front of me here. I have two ThinkPads, a X1 Nano and the X1 Carbon Gen 5, and I've got my phone. Now, if I want to take all three of these with me on a trip, this is the set of chargers that I would be taking in my bag. So I've got one USB uh, Type-C charger for the Carbon, the one that came with my Nano, and then of course uh, a charger for my phone. Now, if space and weight are at an exclusive premium, then this is everything that I would need to take with me to do this. However, if every gram counts, and I do mean every gram, all of this that you see here can be replaced with these. And the only thing, if we're getting really technical, is if I wanted to charge the phone at the same time, I could use one of these USB uh, Type-C ports instead of plugging in one of the laptops, or I just plug this in the bottom here, and away I go. So even if I add that cable to the mix, all of this now does not have to come with me. And that means that I have three plugs not being taken up, and instead I have one. That is a luxury, however, and you are paying for that luxury. So if you indeed need or desire this sort of level of reduction in what you need to pack for all these devices, then you might find $140 being uh, a relatively decent trade-off. However, if you don't quite need that level of power, you might be equally satisfied with their uh, cheaper option for the 100 watt adapter. And I'll leave links to both of these in the description down below, because even though I think that they've done a good job with this, whether or not you need it is going to depend very specifically on your use case. And in this instance, it might literally be down to the gram on whether or not this is what you need or if you'd be happy with a 100 watt charger. Overall, thank you very much for watching and I hope that you've learned something. And if you did, and if you appreciated the approach that I take to reviewing technology, then I'd encourage you to do all the YouTube stuff down in this corner here. It really does help the channel grow, and I appreciate your support. So, thank you for joining in, and I will see you next time.